Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw and if you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, guys, then thank you so much for coming back. Um, so today's video is a buys of the week video. So grab yourselves a nice little cup of tea and some snacks. Mine's in my very old um, Sainsbury's mug, which was on the dresser. I know many of you are eagle-eyed, so you might notice that the dresser setup has changed. Um, and I will be doing a Emma Bridgewater collection video over the weekend. So I, that's my highly requested video. I always get requested, Rosie, can you show us what Emma Bridgewater stuff you've got? Apparently, there's quite a few Emma Bridgewater fans out there, all of us. Um, so we'll get into that. And I just thought I'd show you my little Sainsbury's mug. Because it's been up on that shelf for about two years now. And I really wanted to use it. And now I'm using it. So I'm just letting you know that I am. <laughs> so I've got a little cup of tea. So today's video is a buyers of the week video. Um, so if you already are new, if you're not, if you're already existing to this channel, guys. Now, if you're new to this channel, then you wouldn't, you wouldn't have seen none of these videos before. Um, so sometimes I save bits, end up not doing a video, and then I just join it all together. So rather than me doing a dedicated charity shop haul or a little tiny bits from Primark that I picked up. I just jam it in a video, make one nice big happy video, why not? So I did go to Colchester and I went into TK Maxx, Laura Ashley, Primark and then the other week I went to the charity shop. So I'm going to show you all these pieces together. The Primark and the charity shop I'll show at the end. So if you're only looking for clothing, you might want to skip it right to the end. If you want to see a little bit of home wear, then you can watch from there as well. Um, so the first, let me just tuck my hair behind my ear because it's, getting, it's getting, quite, getting quite annoying guys. So the first things I picked up from Laura Ashley. So Laura Ashley's currently got 50% off at the moment. Some of their like room fragrances and stuff are like 40% off, but a lot of their homeware is 50% off, which is kind of a good deal because I would say that Laura Ashley is like a, a medium to high end prices on homeware. I would say that. I would say they're quite expensive. Um, but some of the bits where they've gone in the sour, I've had my eye on for a little while, not wanting to pay the prices, and then realised actually, do you know what? Now they've gone in the sour. I don't know what I'm whispering, but don't everyone feel like when you've got a, like, like a, a discount, you feel like being like, yeah, I like mean, it's a little shh, little secret. So the first thing I managed to pick up was this little caddy. So I really, really love this. I've got the little Laura Ashley tin in my kitchen, and I always get complimented on it. Can never get another one, but I did see this, and this has been in my shopping basket for ages. But I just couldn't justify spending £20 on a caddy when I've got quite a few of these under my sink anyway. Um, and it is just because it's got Laura Ashley written on it. It's because it feels posh. Do you know what I mean? It just feels posh. So it's got a lovely little handle, like wooden handle on it, little metal twist on so you can put it to the sides. And this is just basically for, you know, washing up liquids, sponges and stuff to go next to your sink. Or you could have this, I don't know, in your bedroom. You've got like a country bedroom under the cupboard to put your bits in, let like your makeup and pull it out. It's more like a cleaning thing, I'd say. Um, but what this is for for me is I'm just going to put a few of my like essential cleaning stuff that I clean most rooms with, stick it all in there and then walk around with it while I'm doing my cleaning because then it just make, makes it easier in transit taking it around to, yeah. This was meant to be £20 and I ended up paying £10 for it, which I didn't mind paying £10 for because I did need something like this. And the plastic ones are about £5, £6 anyway. So for a proper sturdy, lovely metal one that actually looks really pretty as well, I didn't mind paying that for it. Also in there, I've been looking for these for ages. So if you are kind of like one of my older viewers, you will remember that I had um, some ceramic salt shakers on there from B&M, but they actually broke. So I needed to get some more. And I see these in Laura Ashley and I thought, no, they're having a laugh. Like that is so much money for that. I cannot justify it. So they have these lovely little salt and pepper shakers and they've got the little Laura Ashley written on the bottom. And they're really nice, they're bigger, they're a lot bigger in size, I think my other ones were only about that big. Um, but they're really lovely and I'm going to keep these on the table. But these were meant to be £30 for a packet of salt and pepper shakers. And that's really nice if someone's having a moving in present or maybe like a little wedding gift or something. But just to spend £30 on a salt and pepper shaker any normal day of the week was just a little bit stick, like extortionate I thought. Um, so now they've got 50% off, they went down to £15 which I thought... That's kind of okay, because at Christmas time, they sell loads of these type things, don't they? And they're normally about £10 for a pair, so I thought £15 for a little Laura Ashley set. They're quite a nice size. I'll get them as well, and they do look really, really cute on the table. They just look really, really sweet. So I got those as well. And also, for £6, I managed... £6 or £5? £5, £5 you're wrong, Rosie. Um, so this was £10 originally, and yet again, weren't going to pay £10 for it, because it is just going to go on my shelves in the kitchen. Um, but I've got a little Laura Ashley... Olive, Italian lemons, and lime. 
scented candle. Um, so I think it just looks really pretty. And it actually does smell amazing. It does smell on the back though. It only um, burns for 24 hours. Which isn't a long length of time. But I don't know if I'm going to burn this or not. I might burn it if I've like cooked burgers or something. You know only just the kitchen sticks. <laughs> like I've got grease and stuff. Um, but this is only a fiver and it's a kitchen candle. So I think it is meant to sort of be really, really fresh. To get rid of the smell of like grease and cooking fat. Whatever you're cooking in. But that just looks really pretty where it's all like bright to sit on that shelf out there. Also, I went into TK Maxx and I've been after, I've been saying on my channel for ages, I want some pink Le Creuset. Is that how you say it? Le Creuset? Le Creuset? Le Creuset. Um, some pink, some pink, <laughs> some pink Le Creuset stuff. And in TK Maxx, they are fabulous for it because they have it, but so much cheaper. So this RRP for this jar, which is ridiculous, was $34.99. Because it is like sort of oven proof. I could even put this in the oven if I wanted to. At a certain temperature, dishwasher safe, microwave safe. They're really lovely stoneware. I've got this and I've just got this on my kitchen side. And I've just got coffee sachets in it. So I'll just be careful that I don't smash it. I've just got a little Nescafe coffee latte sachets in it. But it's such a nice colour pink. It really goes nice in my kitchen. And I paid £12 for it. And it is really, really solid. So I've definitely stuck it at the back of the cupboards because I thought, you know, like on the worktop. Because I know my outfits are like, you know, I'm smashing that. <laughs> I'm trying to see if there's sweets or something in it. So they're the little homeware bits. Also, I wanted to show you as well. I have changed up this and I will be doing an Emma Bridgewater video. But from my birthday money as well, I did pick up this. So this technically does come in to the buys of the week <laughs> so i picked up this was 33 pound in the sale and um, from emma ridgewell which it was a second the emma ridgewell pottery is known for being quite expensive i collect it i don't get it all in one go i just get little bits now and again and because it was my birthday i thought you know what every birthday and christmas i always at least get one item of emma ridgewell to add to my collection so i thought i've really got to get another something and um, that's my excuse i'm sticking to it so i end up getting the little roses pot I don't actually know where the, the fault is. I normally draw it on with a little pencil where the fault is, but because it's such a premium brand, the faults are like minute. So we've got the big four cup Embridge or Rose teapot, and I paid 33, 33 for that one. And I also got the jug as well. Oh, and I've got the little jug. <laughs> which I absolutely love and I think it's really, really beautiful. And I think that one cost me 30 as well. So it's nice, but it's nice because it comes from my nanny granddad's money, what they give me, and they know I love Emma Bridgewater and I was just like, nanny granddad, I just added to the collection. I was like, oh, okay then, <laughs> okay then Rose, what, whatever. So now I'm gonna go on to the try-on section. So when I went to Primark, my goodness, they have the most beautiful stuff coming in. I think what they tried to do is when they very first opened, I don't think they tried to put a lot of new stuff out. I think it was the stuff that sort of, they had sitting there for isolation. Now they're trying to get rid of their new stuff. But obviously it's about three months worth of new stuff. So the shop is just lit. It is lit. It's got so much nice stuff in there. And I wanted everything, but I thought, no, be sensible. Don't go crazy. Just pick up the bits that you really, really love. So when I was in there, I picked up this dress. So I am wearing a vest under this. My little belly hanging over because I just can't resist eating food at the minute. <laughs> so I've got a little vest on and that's purposely, put my jeans up as well, that's purposely to show you what these sort of items look like on. So the first thing I got was this dress. Now I managed to get this in a 14 because when I went there, I only had 14s or 18s in stock. So what I've done is I literally just put my arm in to see if my arm fits. And I thought if my arm fits, then it'll fit here because I'm smaller here than on my bottom half. Um, so this was £15 for this dress. And I'm loving this sort of baby blue at the moment. And anyone knows, if they watch my channel, they'll know that I love a polka dot. A polka dot. A polka dot. <laughs> I'll say this and then it won't go in. But then it's got like, um, it's got like a wrap front. And you can tie it up at the waist, but it hasn't got a wrap for it, it goes all the way around. So the reason I've got this in the 14 is because the 18 would have tied, but it would have also hung quite a bit as well. Um, let's pull this vest down. I thought this was so lovely for £15. I thought this looked a little bit calf kitsony. You know like when they sell their really beautiful dresses in there? And the length of it, watch me stand on my new chairs and like break them. And the length of it is kind of like past the knee length. So a really nice length, and I just thought of a lovely little wicker bag 
These would look really, this would look really, really lovely. I've got to sort, it, sort it out on the boobs because this bra's a bit ill-fitting and also with a vest underneath. But I thought it was really lovely with a little puffball sleeve as well. Let's take this one off. So that's £15. I got that in a 14. I would have got it in a 16 had they had it in stock, but they didn't. And then also, this was 15 as well, but this is so Zara. I really thought this, you could easily get this in Zara. So for £15, I thought that was really good. Um, I've got this in a size 16, but once I show you, you'll love it. So it's got a little bit of broadulating glaze. I know a few of you have told me how to sort of pronounce it, but I'm still not getting any better at it. <laughs> um, so it's kind of like a smocky top. I did notice a lot of people were saying the tops on my new look haul were extremely short, but I'm finding that tends to be the trend at the moment. They are always really short. So I find wearing a sort of sizing down on my jeans and having my jeans sort of high waisted, it sort of sucks my belly in because my belly does, sorry to be grotesque, hang out. Like I haven't actually just got a completely flat belly, it does hang over, it's like a normal belly. Um, <laughs> So a lot of these tops I buy, they are sort of short, but they're meant to be that kind of boho, peplumy type ones where they do come up a little bit higher on your jean line. You can probably wear a nice little belt. But it's got a lovely little like sleeve to it with a little tie up. It's a big puffball sleeve. I thought this was really cute as well. And I thought this is really lovely. Like I know it isn't school run season at the moment, but like, you know, in the days when you first take your kids back in September, just a little pair of sandals or flip flops on, nice sort of like, over the top shirt like this. Perhaps a nice little ponytail, sunglasses on your head. It's really chilled and relaxed, but it's really, really pretty. So you sort of like don't have to be dressed up, but you look a little bit more like you've made an effort. <laughs> so let's take this one off. I think this is one of them ones that gets stuck, guys. <laughs> that is so weird. I actually had a dream last night that I got stuck in the top and I was sort of walking around asking people if they could help me. What was that? You could help me get out of this top. And they wouldn't, and I just brought my dream back. What a weird dream. So now we're on to the charity shop items, guys. I'm really excited about the charity shop items because, like I said, the, sh the charity shop near my house um, was closed. So I drove in to town a little bit, and they had one charity shop open. So most of the charity shops were shut. This one was opened, and this one's probably the best one because everything is a pound. So I've got a few things that were a pound. And I will show you right now. <laughs> so these were all the pounds. So I got managed to get this lovely little blouse. Um, yet again, it's sort of like an over blouse. This is from Next originally. And this is in a size 16. This would have been a Next special purchase. And it's got little pockets on it. Definitely needs a wash and an iron. Um, but I thought this was really lovely. Now this would originally have come with like a little black slip underneath. But I've got a little navy vest on, so we'll just do it as it is. Try it on, but I thought for a pound, how much would you have paid for something like this in next? I don't know, 15 pounds, something like that, 16 pound. But I thought with a black vest top on underneath, oh, a bit tight. Like I said, I have been eating quite a bit <laughs> over isolation. But it's got the cutest little sleeves, which sort of got these scalloped edges, and also it comes in a little bit nicer at the waist, so it does fit over the boobs. Um, and then it comes in and it just looks really, really cute. It's also got the little scalloped edge at the bottom. And it's just like a nicer, prettier alternative to a t-shirt. It also has this really nice sort of scoop neck, so it's not really ridiculously high. So if you can see the neck as well, which I quite like as well. I think it's a bit more of a flattering line. And yet again, this is sort of flip-flop and jeans sort of top. But I like going into a charity shop because it definitely proves you don't have to spend a lot of money on your clothes because this is only a pound. I've got this from the charity shop and it's definitely worth looking in the charity shops and having a little go. See what you can get. So that was from Next. The next thing I picked up is a little bit of a hit and miss, guys. I don't know if this is gonna look amazing or not, but in my brain, I literally think I'm Kate Moss and thought I might be able to pull this off. <laughs> so this again is in a size 16 and this is from Miss Selfridge. Um, but, I don't know if this is Miss Selfridge now trying to be retro or if this is genuine retro vintage Miss Selfridge because it's got shoulder pads. Now, this is a bit of a random one. It's a bit of a random jacket. But I thought with like a nice straight sort of like a flary black sort of dress, if you want something on over the top 
that's a little bit quirky. And what I always do is when I pick up something, if I think to myself, do you know what, that's a bit of a random pattern, I don't know if it's gonna suit my figure. If it's a nice material, I always go for it because if you look at the material, it's like, dot, dot, like, hands toe, is it called? And I thought, you know, Halloween's coming up soon. I could always do with some Halloween fabric. So it didn't really matter. Um, so it's got like these sort of like, baggy sort of like bingo wingy arms. What's it called? Bat wing. Bingo wings. That's when you get like chunky arms. Bat wingy arms. And it does have like a high neck with buttons. It's like a little jacket. Like, but it's cropped. I obviously wouldn't have it done up like that. But I thought maybe with like a little pair of like, I don't know, maybe like a dressy type thing. I'm not too sure what I would wear this with. But I just thought for a pound it was quite cute and I really liked the fabric. I thought maybe even like a nice, like a nice blouse, a bit more looser underneath or something, wearing this with it. I'm not sure. You have to tell me what your thoughts are, but I thought, you know what, I'm not going to leave it because it's such nice fabric anyway. I can use it to make my fabric pumpkins, what I do every autumn. Then the next thing I got, now this is called Cooperative. Now I don't know what the brand Cooperative is, and it isn't Cooperative as in like literally the co-op down the road, the supermarket. I'm not sure what it is, but this is in a size medium, and it's a sweater. So it looks like a jumper, but it's actually a jersey sweater. You know, like one of them actual jumpers that you get. But I love the little collar on this. I thought this was so cute. And I thought, as it gets to autumn, now this is another thing as well, if you're going to go charity shop shopping, don't expect to go in there and just be buying summer dresses for the summer. It's kind of, it goes alternative, so everyone in the summer is getting rid of their old winter stuff they don't want. So it's more of a case of, you're going to get a better deal and better items if you do buy for the wrong season and hold it out for the next season. And because it's a medium, let's just hope this fits, but how cute is this little colour? Oh, I just thought this was really sweet from the charity shop. Now, I know these kind of jumpers don't do really anything for me, but I thought sometimes, you know, when you just want to put your trainers on or a little pair of pumps and you've got like, I don't know, like a nice skirt or a nice pair of jeans on, you want to put your coat on, get in the car, but this just adds a lovely little detail to it. And this is only a pound from the charity shop. I thought that was quite cute as well. So I don't know what brand this is, but like I said, it's a lovely sort of like, maroony sort of burgundy type colour so a little bit brighter as well in real life than it looks on the camera Ooh. but I will wash all of these I will wash them all I say I'll iron them all, I'll only iron them once I need actually wearing but I got them now also in there even though I said these are all free for a pack oh, I said they're all pound each got my little chair <laughs> getting out of breath already um, even though they were for a pound these vests were all in a basket and these were free for a pound so I managed to pick up a next vest which is just black um, and this is in a size 14 but it's like a loose oversized one which I really like so it's a lovely and this is next premium so these would have been the sort of vest tops that you would have got and I paid like 10 or 4 like the next premium ones they are oversized and I like these ones because they sort of come out like that. So you can put them on underneath like a nice little cardi like what I had on earlier for the video and it's got like a nice V as well, not that you can see, because my original vest. But it's quite a nice little V-neck vest. This is a 14 but obviously it is an oversized. So that was free for a pound. I also got in there this. Now this is beautiful. I'm gonna ask my sister if she wants it but she's less opposed to charity shop items than I am. Um, but this is Topshop, and this is in a size 8. Now, this will fit my sister, it won't fit me. And it's in like a burnt orange linen-y type material, like a vest, v-neck vest. But it's got the most beautiful side splits at the side. And it's got like a longer back than at the front. I'm all out of breath, guys. Woo. So, I'm going to ask her if she wants this, but if she doesn't, it's in the most beautiful dark burnt orange. But yet again, like I said, it'll be a fabric pumpkin. So sometimes, you know, because that's about 33 pairs worth of fabric there, if you went and got that much fabric, because that's front and back from a fabric store, it'd be a lot more money. And it's a really lovely sort of linen feel fabric. So I'm going to ask if she wants it. And if she doesn't, that will be getting turned into a pumpkin <laughs> come autumn. Now this last thing, you're probably thinking, Rosie, what are you thinking? But this was also free for a pound. So I got the black vest, the orange vest. Sorry guys, slow battery. I got this. Now, it's still got the stickers on it. This was meant to be £8 from Asda. It went down to £3.98. Might go for roughly 33p. 
Now this is for when we go on holiday eventually. Now I like wearing bikinis. I know some people might think, Rosie, why are you in a bikini? But I think I've got it going on. I don't care about my belly. I don't care about my extra arms, my weight. Do you know what I mean? You can't think of your whole life worrying about, you know, that this isn't timed or this isn't that. Like, life's for living, not for worrying. That's what I say anyway. Um, this is in a size 20. But sometimes, you know, like when you're walking around and you go to, like, a market or something, you want to be a bit more covered up. It is really hot. And you get all these sort of cut-out dresses and stuff. I'm not really into that. So I thought, if I get a nice high-waisted, like, beachy skirt, like a long high-waisted one that comes to about here, but, like, a midi one, maybe, like, or maybe a sarong-type one, I could probably get away with wearing this little top. So obviously the top will, like the skirt will match here, so you only see like the tiniest line of midriff. Oh, all attached now, but it's polka dot. And then you tie it up at the front, put your boobs in here, and then you tie it up at the front. And I thought, how cute is that? You could like have like a nice, you know, let's just experiment. Let's just pretend that this is my skirt. But the skirt would come to like here. Do you know what I mean? Wear a skirt, like a sarongi type thing round, comes down to about knee length, but then you just see the tiny little bit of midriff. I thought that'd be quite nice on a beach. Um, so for 33p, I thought I might as well experiment. And yet again, if I don't wear it, it's Valentine's fabric, guys. So we can make Valentine's stitch little hearts, hanging hearts with it. So I'm always thinking forward, guys. <laughs> Fabric is amazing. You could always go to the charity shop and get like fabric because they sell such beautiful like pattern stuff, even if it's not nice shapes. And for 25p, I got a little like, it looks like one of them sort of like weird stones. Ring, sorry for like my big fist. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought that was quite a nice little ring. And Millie got like a Horrid Henry book for 50p. She wanted the Horrid Henry book. So that's why it comes to £4.75, but actually this the whole actually comes to £4.25 but I'm really out of breath guys so I'm going to go because I don't want it to be a super long video but I hope it was an okay catch up video because I haven't been on in a couple of days now tomorrow I'm going to be doing yes that's what tomorrow is so tomorrow I'm going to be doing DIY lamps I've already got my Blue Peter stuff in the background so I'm going to be doing um, my DIY lamps, so it won't be like making lamps from scratch, but my lamps have all broken, they've all gone dodgy, and sometimes you see these beautiful lamps in the charity shop or at the boot sales, but they just don't look like very fashionable for now, so I'm going to show you how we can upcycle those to make them look way more expensive, so I'm going to be doing that tomorrow, and then on Saturday I'm going to be doing my Emma Bridgewater collection haul, so hopefully you'll stick around to watch those, and next week guys, I'm going to be doing the wall panelling. What I've been promising for ages, but I have done the downstairs toilet. I attempted to film it, but because it's in such a small space and I'm the worst filmer in the world, I wasn't actually able to get much footage. So I'm going to be doing it in the kitchen, and then I'll show you how to do that properly from scratch. And I've still, I still, I use a video, guys, to show you how I hang up the shelves and part mirrors and stuff, just like a little DIY fresher course in case you sort of like don't know how to do it. So you can be a little bit more self-sufficient, not wait for the builder, so you can do it yourself. I'm out of breath guys, so wish me luck. <laughs> I'm going to go pull this away now. So I've been Rosie Henshaw. I hope you've had a lovely rest of your week. Take care guys. Bye.